Hey guys, it's Mackenzie. Welcome back to my channel. So today we have a ship with me video. We have 30 items here to ship out. Today is Monday, August 21st. The last time that I shipped was Thursday evening. I did have one sale Thursday night, which I will package up today. However, everything else you'll see sold on Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and then earlier today, Monday. Sales have been a little bit slower, mainly because I haven't been consistently listing. I always tell you guys that's the biggest factor to consistent sales is consistently listing. So I am, that's my goal to get back rolling with listing. And I did list a lot today or last night. So I'm doing a little bit better. Okay, so let's go ahead and get into it. We will start off with our only piece that sold in my men's closet. I do have a separate Poshmark men's closet. This is a Billy Reed, which is a Bolo brand. 100% linen button down black top. This retailed for over a hundred dollars. Billy Reed is very expensive. And from what I have seen, the resale value does it does hold its resale value well. I listed this at, I want to say it was $45. And after a month, possibly a month and a half, I received a $38 offer, which I did accept. My earnings were $30.40. I picked this up at the bin, so I probably paid about $1.50 for it making my profit on this shirt right at $29, which I'm definitely happy with. The average sale price in my men's closet is, I calculated it the other day. It was either 30, it was somewhere between 30 and $35, which I'm very happy with. I, that is the reason that I created a separate men's closet because I was previously listing men's items in my women's closet. And what was happening was I was getting a lot of bundles. And then, like, for instance, a woman would bundle like three women's sweaters and then just throw in a men's shirt or sweater, whatever I had listed that was men's, and just kind of that item was kind of lost in the mix. Whereas with my separate men's closet, each item is selling for $30, $38. And I'm just seeing a way better return on my time that I invest in listing men's pieces. You do have to ask permission to create a separate closet on Poshmark and you do have to use a different email. Okay, getting into a women's closet now. We first have let me grab, I'm going to grab my box number seven. This is my largest USPS box. This is a Zara handmade vest, long line vest with an oversized lapel. This is so high quality. It's a size medium. This was a blogger's favorite, meaning that bloggers took really Pinteresty pictures wearing it and just kind of upped the desirability for this piece in particular. And this was also new without tags. I am very confident of that. I did not put that in the listing because I can't say for absolute sure, but the pockets were still sewn shut and it looks and feels unworn. So yeah, amazing condition. And with it being handmade, amazing quality. So yeah, I was super excited to find this piece at the bins. I knew immediately that it would sell very well. I had it listed at 75 and was offered 50. I probably could have held out for a little bit more, but like I said, sales have been a little bit slower recently. And so I went ahead and took that. I thought that was still a great price for a Zara piece. Zara is technically fast fashion, and so anytime I can sell something for $50 and up from Zara, I'm pretty happy about it. 
My earnings were 40. I paid about three for it at the bins just because it does have some weight to it. And so my profit came out to $37 on that vest. Okay, next up we have a cardigan topper piece, really pretty patchwork velvet cardigan here by the brand Ally Miles. This is new with tags. I recently showed this in a thrift haul, so it did sell very quickly within a day. Well, no, maybe not a day. I don't know. When did I list this? It could have been up to a week, but relatively quickly, I would definitely say I hadn't heard of this brand when I found this at the bins, but I did love the style of it. And with it being new with tags, I couldn't pass it up. It did seem like pretty good quality. I listed it at 40. I ran comps on it and the comps were actually pretty good. Someone liked it, and so my Posture VA sent them out a $36 offer with discounted shipping, which they did accept, making my earnings $25.82. I paid right around $1.50 for it, making my earnings $24 for this piece. It's really gorgeous. I hope the buyer loves it. When I did a Google image search on this, Chico, a Chico's piece came up and so I did use the stock photos for that because they match this exactly so I don't know if this Allie Miles brand is affiliated with Chico's or what but I would say the quality and style is very similar okay moving on we have a pair of shorts I was so happy to see these move quickly they were kind of an experiment piece for me I wasn't sure how well Seven for All Mankind Dojo, the Dojo style is still selling. And I also was not sure how well the Bermuda length dojos were selling. Uh, but these sold very quickly, again, within about a week of being listed. They were a good size, size 32, and they were in excellent condition. So those factors may have helped them sell I've said it so many times, but a lot of people do really like a little bit of length to their shorts, like Bermuda shorts in the summertime, just for that extra coverage. It can be hard to find. That's why you do want to use all your keywords when you find Bermuda length shorts. So I listed these at 30. I was offered 25, which I accepted. My earnings were 20. And my profit came out to $17.75 on those shorts. Okay, moving on, we have a three-piece bundle. Speaking of Chico's, we first off have this light wash chambray button-down shirt by Chico's in a size 2, which is a size large in this brand. Just a closet staple. There was so much Chico's that sold. In this haul it's all upcoming and I was so excited about it Chico's is one of my best sellers for sure same brand very cute I mainly got this because of the brand and because of this boho print it's also incredibly lightweight and I picked this up from the bins once again I will pick up honestly pretty much anything in Chico's because it all sells so well for me. I'm just going to do our last piece and wrap it all together. So these are Eileen Fisher size 2X green pull on comfy pants. What are these? These are viscose nylon and spandex. So the three of these were added to a bundle and the bundle price came out to $98 and I was offered $93, which was incredibly fair. I did accept that offer. My earnings were $74.40. I paid right around $5 for all three items. And so my profit came out to right about $70 on this bundle. I do absolutely love my mature bread and butter brands, Soft Surroundings, Eileen Fisher, Chico's, J. Jill. They really are what pay my bills and keep me afloat. 
especially when sales can be inconsistent, I can always count on my tried and true bread and butter brands. I feel like I need to get some kind of, do some kind of homage to Chico's and soft surroundings. Maybe like a tiny tattoo that says Chico's. My mom would absolutely kill me, but that would be kind of hilarious, I have to say. Okay, next up we have a Lucky Brand blouse top, very standard peasant boho kind of vibe. I usually toss these into my cart when I'm at the bins or outlets if they are. I do prefer them to be plus size. However, I will get size large and extra large as well. I will even get smaller sizes just because they do sell these smaller sizes in these more plain shirts from Lucky Brand do seem to sit for longer, but they it all sells eventually from what I have noticed. I had this listed at 28. I was offered 19, which I did counter to 22. They did counter back to 20, and I took that. My earnings were 16, and my profit was $14 on this blouse. Okay, next, another one of my most dependable bread and butter brands, Torrid. This is a size 5X lace bodysuit. So you could wear this under jeans for a night out, like under jeans with a blazer on top, or you could wear this as lingerie. It's really pretty, very feminine. Uh, I listed this at 28 and someone offered me 18. I did counter that to 25 just because I feel like it's a pretty substantial in-demand piece. They did counter me back to 20, which I countered back to 22, and that was accepted. So my earnings were $17.60. I paid about $1.50 for this at the bins, and so my profit was right around $16. I have been getting better with my countering. I, you know, I put a lot of time and energy into finding and listing these items. So I feel like I deserve some counters here and there. I think it is important to, you know, figure out the market value of an item and kind of stick to that. Next, we have a maxi dress by J. Crew. Gorgeous piece, size six, tiered skirt portion. It has ruffles, it's a faux wrap. This is gorgeous, so feminine, so boho, so pretty. Very lightweight, kind of gauzy cotton. Great for this season. I listed this at 38. Someone liked it, and so my Posher VA sent out a $34 offer with discounted shipping. That was accepted, so my earnings were $24.00 and 22 cents, another bins find. I paid around $2 for this. And so my profit came out to $22. I would say J. Crew is yet another one of my most consistent bread and butter brands. However, I do find myself having to be more picky with this brand. I have to kind of sit down and think about the sellable features to each piece that I'm finding. And I do leave a lot of J. Crew behind if it does not have a lot going for it, just because it does tend to sit. And, you know, in contrast, like with Chico's, like I was saying earlier, I will pick up pretty much anything. That's not the case for J. Crew or Madewell. And now, even free people sometimes, I would say. Okay, next we have a pair of shoes. These are by the brand Saludos, and they are just a closet staple pair of black flat espadrille flats. Really cute. I have had these now, I 
I'm not even sure, maybe like six to nine months. I had them listed at 30 and I was recently offered 20, which I happily accepted. I for sure wanted to move these out before we switch over into fall and summertime or fall and winter time because I do not want them to sit for those seasons. So yeah, I happily accepted 20. My earnings were 16. I paid two for these. And so my profit was 14. I used to sell Saludos all the time, but they do seem to sit for me a little bit now. I do like to pick up. I do like to pick them up if they have something kind of extra going for them, like maybe some embroidery or tassel details, that kind of thing. Okay, now we have a large bundle. I am one. I don't know if I'm going to be able to fit all this in my box number seven. I don't think that I will, but I'm going to try and then go from there if I can't. Okay, so it's a five item bundle. Let me pull up the picture of the sale so that I have a visual of everything that's going in this box just to be sure. Okay, so our first piece is this H&M Sherpa Teddy textured shacket. This I remember I got on a slower day at the bins because I knew that it would sell. I thought it might sit for a bit, which it has. I've had this for a month or two now, but I knew that it would sell eventually because it is so trendy. Yeah, this, the box is already almost full. Uh, okay, second piece is by the brand Urban Day, which meant nothing to me. I got this because of the style. It's also a mohair blend, and it has that really quirky, grandpa-esque style to it speckled knit raw seams very cute i have no idea where this was originally sold so that's our second piece i'll just transfer this to a bigger box off camera third piece is a boutique little sweater no brand really leopard print oversized same kind of thing i picked this up on a slower day I thought it might sit and sell for less, but I knew that it would sell. And that is what I go searching for when I'm not finding brand names or more well-known kind of pieces. A uh, fourth item is also a top, Umji denim, size large, button down shirt with a frayed hem split in back. This is so cute. This had a ton of interest, which I knew that it would. Anything shacket-esque style is always really popular. Okay, so that's all the clothing. We do have one pair of shoes, and this is also going to be over five pounds, which is also a bummer. I really should have thought of that when I was countering with the buyer. I usually do take that into consideration when I'm countering, but for whatever reason, I totally was not thinking about the weight of this bundle. That is something to keep in mind going from summer when you're selling a lot of lightweight items, tanks and shorts, and going into fall and winter time when people are building heavier bundles with sweaters, boots. You do want to keep in mind shipping if the weight of the bundle goes above five pounds. You as the seller do have to pay to increase the weight of the shipping label. And so I'll probably have to pay an extra $5 that will cut into my earnings. Um, whereas I could have taken that into account when offering or when counter offering with the buyer and built that into the cost of the sale. Um, so yeah, our last piece in this bundle is a pair of Ann Taylor Loft suede heeled clogs boot clogs. I got these at regular Goodwill. I remember it was over a year ago. I paid $10 for them. And I remember putting them back, picking them back up, putting them back. I was so on the fence because they are a genuine suede. They are unworn. They're brand new. They're a good size, size 10. And clog style, that's probably one of my fastest selling styles of shoes. Um, people love it. They love clogs. However, they are only Ann Taylor Loft. And 
you know, if these had been a genuine like Swedish cloth, they probably would have sold same day, next day kind of thing. Uh, but they were just anti-work. And so I decided to get them because I was thinking, well, you know, they do have a lot going for them. We'll just see how they do. But they have sat for a long time. So I would say that's a bad buy. They are super cute. I think the buyer will love them. But I would not pick them up again. I wouldn't pick up Ann Taylor Loft clogs again, even if they are genuine suede kind of thing. Okay, so the bundle price when everything was added together came out to $151. I was offered $112, which I did go ahead and accept because again, I did want to move those clogs out. I have had them forever. I did also want to move out that H&M Shacket because it is just a mall brand. This was very kind of mall brand-esque kind of bundle. So I, I took the $112 offer. My earnings were $89.60. I paid around $18 for everything. And so my net profit came out to $71.60. But it might be closer to like $65-ish once I upgrade the label. Let's actually see how much it weighs. I am going to have to use a different box. So yes, yeah, seven pounds. Okay. Well, I might have to pay more than $5. Yeah. I'm going to transfer that into a bigger box off camera. I'm just going to set the label there and move on. Let's see how much it is to upgrade, upgrade to actually, I think I'd have to go. Let me see. Need new shipping label. Uh, need heavier weight label. Please select weight. Okay, yeah, so I'd have to go up to eight pounds, which would be $13.50. Okay, so actual profit, 71.60 minus 13. 71 minus 13 is closer to $58. So that is not good. Learn from my mistakes, y'all. Take into account weight. Don't do what I did. <laughs> Anyways, moving on. Three-piece bundle. We first off have this Lilka by Anthropology printed tunic blouse top with a keyhole opening in front. I've had this for a couple months now. Really cute and feminine. Actually, I think I just, yeah, I just relisted this for sure. Second piece is a Free People Novelty cherry printed, really feminine, delicate blouse. Love this. I got this in a mystery box, but like a year, maybe a year and a half ago. I don't even remember what company it was. I'll go back and look and put it on the screen. But it was some company that it was just a free people anthropology mystery box and yeah this is one of my pieces okay third piece in the bundle is a lucky brand top very similar to the one from earlier this one is a size small again this is probably a slower day at the bins i would have preferred this to be extra large but it is very pretty it has a lot going for it floral print bell sleeves this was also a relisted item so that just goes to show you guys should be relisting your items. I just, yesterday I relisted 25 items and I want to say, yeah, this next one sold from being relisted. Oh yeah, this last blazer I'll show was from being relisted. So what was I doing? Oh yeah, I'm out of tape. It is incredibly important to relist your items that really can help supplement your daily sales, uh, especially if you are not having a lot of time to list. Relist. Those count as new listings and it does bring traffic and interest to your closet. I use Posture VA to relist. I just go in to the actions tab. I literally just type in that I want 25 items relisted and I press go 
and it does everything. It relists all 25 items and then it deletes the old listings, copies all my pictures over, all my titles and descriptions over. I do not have to do a thing. That is one of my favorite parts of Posture VA. I highly recommend it as a virtual assistant. If you have not tried it out yet, you can use my code McKenzie20 to get a discount when you sign up. It's well worth the subscription. I think it's like $20, $25 a month. And it pays for itself so many times over um, if you are using it correctly. Okay, so did I talk about the price for this? The bundle price came out to 80. I was offered 68, which I took. My earnings were $54.40. I paid around $8 for everything. A little bit higher because I did get that Free People Cherry printed top in a mystery box. So yeah, $8 for everything. My my profit was $46.40. Another three-piece bundle. We first off have this Pure Jill by J. Jill long line asymmetric hem tunic sweater in a size large. Another Bins find. I remember the material. Yeah, 27% wool, 3% cashmere. This is very soft and cozy. Great for fall, winter time. I think I'll wrap this one and then the other two separately. Okay, next up we have Maeve from Anthropology. It did sell same day after being relisted. It's 100% linen. But it is missing its lining, which isn't a huge deal. It's not super sheer, honestly, but you'd probably have to wear like skin colored undergarments. Third and last piece is Chico's size two, which is a size large paisley printed ruffle sleeve top. This I have only had for maybe a week or two weeks now, not really long at all. So the bundle price for these three pieces came out to $82 and I sent the buyer a $75 offer with discounted shipping, which they accepted. My earnings were 57. I paid six for everything and so my profit came out to $51. So very happy to move this Maeve dress out. Give it a new home. And I hope the buyer loves this bundle. I'm going to grab my box number 1095, which I use for bulkier bundles. And it usually works out pretty perfectly. Yeah, perfect. Add my label. I think we actually have yet another three-piece bundle coming up. Yes, we do. Okay, so two kimonos and a Chico's blouse. We have this Japna floral kimono. I love throwing these into my cart at the bins. They cost me like around a dollar, maybe $1.50. They are so easy to toss on my mannequin, swivel it around, photo them, get them listed. I don't measure them. They're usually one size. Same kind of thing, but this one is Vince Camuto. I am shocked that this did not sell quicker than it did. I think I've had this for about a month now, and I was so sure this would sell so fast with the cut and the tie dye. And last, I love this so much. So this is Chico's, it's a long line button down tunic top and this really fun boho print, mother of pearl buttons, gorgeous details and accents, size two. And if you didn't know, Chico's does have style numbers on their inside tag. I think it's the second number on the care tag or where the care tag is. It's a pretty long number, but if you type Chico's and then that into Google, 
the exact piece will usually pop up. And Chico's does have some excellent stock photos, I have to say. They really know how to style their models. They do a really good job with coordinating prints and colors and whatnot. I'm going to grab my box 1092. So the bundle price for this came out to 76 and I was offered 65, which I accepted. My earnings were 52. I paid right around $4 for everything. That Chico's top was also a Ben's fine. And so my profit was $48 on this bundle. Super happy with that. Like I said, the kimonos are so easy to photo, list, store, that kind of thing. Alrighty, moving on, we have an adorable skirt here by J. Crew in collaboration with Liberty Fabrics, Liberty of London. So cute, tiered, bodice, tie waist, vibrant. Paisley print. It has a high-low hem, 100% cotton. Adorable. I pick up anything and everything I find that has anything to do with this Liberty Fabrics because people love it. It is highly sought after. I've had this skirt for, I would say, maybe three weeks now. I listed it at 38 and was offered 20. I countered that to 32 just because I do know the demand for this Liberty Fabrics is high, like I just mentioned. And that was countered back to 23, which I countered to 28. That was my lowest. I chattered, I chattered. <laughs> I chatted with the buyer, the potential buyer, about saying, hey, just so you know, 28 is my lowest. And she did accept that, which was awesome. That made my earnings $22.40 and my profit right at $20 on this skirt. So happy to move this out, find it a good home, and I hope she loves it. Okay. All right, so now this set is a bundle of two items, but they were listed together. I listed them as a set. These are a pair of Free People Movement shorts and a Free People Movement tank top. I found them both at the bins on separate days, and I didn't think that they were really substantial enough to list on their own. And so I just listed them as a little athletic set, and it sold very quickly. I, so I listed this set at 32, and then I listed this skirt, which is a Maeve by Anthropology pencil skirt at 35. And the same person offered me $30 for both this listing and this listing. And I declined both offers and then I added both of these into a bundle and sent her a $60 offer. And then I commented and said, hey, this, you know, Purchasing these in a bundle will save you an extra shipping cost. And so she accepted that offer. Um, so yeah, that's how I handled that in case you ever run into that situation. This skirt, this Maeve skirt, I listed like two nights ago. Was it last night? Uh, it was either last night or two nights ago. And I thought that this skirt would sit because the brand Maeve unless it's an extremely recent piece, does usually sit for me. Especially their like career office wear. And that was also a size extra small. But it sold so fast. It is adorable though. I love the print to it. It's that really soft, stretchy jersey knit. The lining, so soft, so comfy. And it's a great piece. So I was thrilled that it sold quickly. So yeah. Uh, everything sold in a bundle for $60. My earnings were $48. I paid about three for everything, and so my profit came out to $45 on this whole sale, which I was super happy with. I love throwing stuff like the little free people movement pieces into my bag when I'm shopping, not really thinking too much about them. Taking quick 
flat lay pictures and then just listing them for sale. I don't look up stock photos. I don't think, I, yeah, I didn't take measurements on these. And so it's just such a no hassle way to increase uh, your sales or increase the cost of a bundle kind of thing. Supplementing with fast, with items that you can list quickly that will sell quickly kind of thing. Okay, our last couple pieces. We have this Banana Republic blazer. This is gorgeous. Double breasted wool blazer with a Glen plaid print in a size 14. This has so many marketable aspects to it. The print, the material, the size, the condition. It looks brand new. The style, the color, the cut, absolutely everything. This was also a relisted piece. This did sit for maybe about a year and then I relisted it a couple months ago and it sold. So just to reiterate, relist your stuff. If it's not selling, don't complain about it. Relist it, get it out the door, get some fresh eyes on it and get it moving. I firmly think that is the ultimate key to reselling is being resilient, not getting bogged down, being pessimistic, that kind of thing, because when your attitude is bad, your sales are going to be bad. You know, if you're down in the dumps, you're not going to want to list, you're not going to want to share, you're not going to want to shop, and that's just not good for your business. So, I'm a firm believer in, you know, just putting in the action trying to reverse what's going on, relist, do something productive kind of thing. That's my, that's my little pep talk for you guys. So yeah, I relisted this at $55 and it did sell full price, which we absolutely love. My earnings were 44. I paid around 12 for this. It might've been 15, 12 to $15. I need to look at my spreadsheet. I Purchased this in a clothing lot from a friend. And so my profit was $32 on that. So I didn't even have to go shop for that piece, which makes it an even better sale. Okay, our very last item for tonight is a gorgeous pair of vintage Doc Martens leather lace-up boots, shoes kind of thing. These were made in England excellent condition. My, uh, a family friend came over and brought some shoes that she didn't want. And these were in the stack and my eyes lit up. So I listed these at $125 after I would say three weeks to a month, which was kind of surprising to me. I thought these would sell so quickly. I was offered 75, which I accepted. My earnings were 60 and they were free to me. So very excited about the sale. Very excited about all my sales. I'm grateful for each and every one. I'm also very grateful for you guys and all of your sweet comments and support that you always leave me. That really does mean the world to me. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did enjoy, please feel free to leave me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and I will see you guys soon. Bye y'all.